Hello everyone and welcome back. Well, we're going to finally get around to repotting our lemon cypress trees here. Um, what we're going to do is we'll start off with the larger one here. With the smaller tree that's grown beside it. Well, I think it's a separate tree anyway. We're going to find out if it's actually in fact attached at the bottom. Maybe if it's if it is attached Maybe we've started some roots up further and, uh, you know, we can cut it away from the other tree here. Okay, well, we'll get it out of the pot and we'll take a look at things. I'm quite anxious. Okay, so here we go. I still had a little bit more room to grow these out. You remember last year that I slip pot slip potted these. Into a little larger pot, which was these ones here, with uh, some fresh bones eye soil around the existing root ball. So the roots have grown into some of that soil, but it's not uh, it's not necessarily packed. Okay. I finally got myself a root rake a few months ago. I'm really anxious to see if this is a if this was a separate cutting. Oh it's quite mucky here. Now I'm getting into the garden soil here that I originally started this cutting in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back from washing the roots out and they're nice and clean. Um, as I was washing the roots out, this smaller tree broke away from this larger one very easily. I mean, it almost just fell off. So yes, it was a separate cutting. So my curiosity is satisfied. I couldn't remember whether this was one cutting or two separate cuttings, so I guess it was two separate cuttings. So that's great. So I got a small little tree to work with here. I will not be touching touching the roots on this. This tree is already starting some nice radial roots. The only one I will be taking off is that one there that is really growing straight down. So I'll just be taking this one off here. That's it for our little tree. If we take a look at our larger one. I don't like this one larger root it kind of grows down here it grows down then it starts to come out more horizontally we got another one beside it which is another good root with a bunch of feeder roots on it I can train this root to grow more horizontally in the soil. So that could be a good root. Um, I don't really see a problem with it. And I got some other nice ones along the way here. 
So that's great. So I got a nice radial root plane to work with here. Some nice roots. I've only really got one that I don't really like. But I'm going to leave it for now. I don't have a lot of roots to work with and I don't want to put the tree the tree's health in jeopardy. So we're just going to leave things go. And the next time I do a repot, I'm hoping I'll have a lot more roots that I could use so I could come in and cut this off. Okay, well, we're going to pot that up now. Okay, I found a larger pot. And I think I'm just going to pot them both in the same pot again. This one's actually got a little bit of a little movement in the trunk. That's pretty cool. That'll be kind of kind of neat to see that when the tree gets older. Okay, well. There's the first one. Well, I've, uh, I've changed my mind already. I was going to plant these together, but I'm not now. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to utilize this whole pot for this one tree. Alright, well, I'm going to be taking some more soil out of here. Now that's... that'll be better. I'm going to pull this one root up like I like I mentioned. We're just going to cut a few off the end here so it just fits in our pot a little better so we're not folding them down. So I'm keeping this this one root up now. And I think it'll be okay just like that. Okay, that looks good right there. I'm going to go ahead and put some more soil in here. Quite a bit more soil actually. It's quite the size pot. It just take me a minute here to work the soil in to the roots that are here because there's not that not that many to begin with.
Okay, put a little bit more soil in there. Okay, that's looking that's looking pretty good. I guess we could put a little more in there. When I'm done here, I'm going to watch a video that Jarhead Bonsai had just put up about his uh, geranium bonsai. Looks like uh, he was giving it a late spring, early summer pruning, so I'm definitely going to be cruising over and watching it. Anybody who hasn't checked out his channel yet should go and check it out. That's Jarhead Bonesai. His name is Jared. He's a great guy and he's got a very interesting piece of property and a lot of cool trees. And when I say a lot of trees, that's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> anyway, go and check him out. Okay. Now we'll plant the small one. Okay. So I think the little one, we're going to put it back into the little nursery pot that I had it in last year, along with a larger one. Only this time, we're just going to have the little guy in there. I don't really have to set the roots up that much on this little one. Got a really nice little radial root base already started so we'll just go ahead and put some more soil in on this. We'll just work the soil in a little bit. Could just put a little more on there. We'll keep the soil just below the lip of the pot so that our water doesn't run off. And there we are. Okay, we'll uh, we'll get on with another tree. Okay, so we'll get on with our next one. Uh, why don't we start with this? smaller one here the tree that I think I will make into a multi trunk I still may do that with this one too but we'll see as time goes on we'll see what they look like as they grow but uh, my plan is with this one for sure it will be a multi trunk also I forgot to uh, to show you guys that I do water my trees immediately after I repot them so that the roots don't dry out. So I did water those until the water was coming out of the bottom of the pots and quite a bit of it and I will water them again a little later. Okay well why don't we pull this one out next and have a look at it. This one's going to be interesting also. They're all going to be very interesting to me actually. Because <laughs> I started them all from cutting. So it's... This is my first time looking at the roots since I started them. 
Now since we slip potted this one, the roots actually have come out to the pot. We'll pull our screen off and keep it because I'm sure I'll have another tree for this pot at some point. Put that in the pot and clean that up later. Yeah, so it's not overly root bound at all. The roots did make their way out into the bonsai soil that I put in here last year. Of course it's it's very nice soil and then I get into the garden soil where it's a little more clay like harder and clumpier which is why it's not good stuff to plant your trees in. Where you look here where the bonsai soil was it was nice and loose. You see the roots how nice they are nice and fibrous. They grew quite easily through that soil. Now again I'm going to pull the worst of it off here and then I'm just going to go wash it out because I'm afraid that I'm going to damage the roots here because this soil is quite tightly packed around the roots. Well actually I'm not going to take it any further than this. I'm just going to go wash this out now. All right, I am back, and the roots on this tree definitely don't look as good as the ones on the other tree by the looks of things so far. The good thing about this tree is that I could afford to take off more root because I did cut this tree quite a ways back and I don't have a lot of foliage left on the tree so I could afford to take away more from my roots here so I uh, definitely going to be taking a couple off here. This one here is definitely worse than the last one. The last tree that we looked at, I had one that was growing kind of straight down, but not, not as bad as this one. And we've got another one here that I got to cut off. But I think that will still leave lots of root left on this tree. That the tree should uh, recover just fine. come in here and take that one off and that one there and I think uh, the rest will be fine there we are The rest of the roots, they look pretty good. And yeah, because it was a cutting, I mean, we've already got a decent start to a radial root base. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty good. Okay. I've already got another pot ready. Looks like there's enough soil in there.
pretty quiet day out today for a Wednesday. <laughs> I go and see that. Okay, that's pretty much it. I can just put a little more soil in on top of that and then that'll be good enough for this one. And we're gonna we're gonna grow it out in this larger pot here. Maybe for about three years. Okay, so I'm going to give this one a watering, and we'll get on with the next one. And I'll show you all the trees at the end after we get them popped. Okay, so here's the last one. I notice right away that we have a, uh, a root sticking out here. It probably ran out of room so it maybe hit the bottom of the pot or maybe went around the side of the pot and it started to come up out of the soil here so that'll be interesting to see what's going on there okay well let's do the last one here Oh, that's good. The roots ended up taking up the whole pot. Take our screen off here before I forget. The soil here is just uh, breaking away nice and easy here. Once again here I'm getting into my fairly hard garden soil here. I'm just going to go quickly clean it off once again and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And I've got a few very nice radial roots here. You can see here, someday hopefully there'll be there'll be some nice surface roots. Definitely very healthy. Yeah, I have one, two, three. And here's this one that was sticking straight up and we're going to cut it off. It's growing right next to this other one here that I want to keep. Now because we have a lot of roots to work with, we're just going to, uh, we're going to cut that off. was a pretty big root. There we go. Yeah, so now I have these these three roots here to work with. Hopefully into the future too as surface roots. Uh, that's going to be quite cool.
a lot of these roots obviously are growing down because that's it's the only the only room they had to grow in that pot was down a couple of these other roots that are growing downwards I think we can work with these yep we're gonna be able to work with some of these this one here we could work with I think I'm going to remove this one. It, it comes down a little bit below our root plane that I want to work with. I'm wondering because of the lighting in here, maybe you guys can't see that well. Jeez. We're going to cut that off. There we are. Okay. Now the rest of them we're just going to trim things up here. Take these back a little bit further, not too much. Okay. Yep, that's going to work nice. I'm thinking I'm going to have some nice surface roots to work with in the future here, so that'll be great. We already have some uh, flare happening at the base of our trunk here, so that's good. Fabulous. Yeah, these, these trees, they have come a long way in the last two and a half years from cuttings. So, just amazing. Okay, well, we'll get it into the pot. Okay. So here we go. It's just another uh, nursery pot, but a larger one. I think I'm going to take a little bit more off this root here. Yeah, the sun's gone under and the lighting is not good right now where I am uh, I just I just hope it's better than better than what I'm seeing okay I think I'm gonna take a little bit more soil out of this okay so this is better
we have some more roots to work the soil in here. Or work the soil into, I mean. Yeah, there is a lot more roots on this tree than there was the last couple, that's for sure. I'm going to need some more soil here. We've actually worked quite a bit of soil down into these roots now. I think that'll be good. I'm just going to put some more soil in on top of what we have. go brought the soil just below the lip of the pot so our water doesn't just run off there we go that's pretty good Okay. Okay, well, here they are. Now they're going to be taking up more more room, which is okay. <laughs> I don't have a lot of extra room, but however, it is what it is. I couldn't keep these in the small pots forever. I've got our smallest tree here. It's going to need some more water soon. You can already see the soil just starting to dry because it, is, it absorbed some of that water. So I'll be giving them another water here soon. But here they are in their bigger pots. I guess we'll, we can call them their training pots. And of course, after repotting these, when I did water them, I always water them until the water comes out of the bottom of them. And then about an hour after the first watering, I give them another good watering before I'll start watering them regularly with the other trees. Okay. Well, that does it for this year with my lemon cypress. I feel a lot better that I was able to not just repot them, but have a look at the roots. I was very curious to see what kind of condition they were in and what work I was going to have to do on them. But I ended up not having to do much work at all to them, so that's fabulous. Okay, well, that's it for the lemon cypress for now. Everybody take care out there, and we will see you in the next one.